Xiaomi Mi 5 is an amazing piece of hardware and with the MIUI running on top of Marshmallow, it has a lot of tips and features for the users to check out. However, some of these features are very easy to miss out and so in this video we'll have a look at those hidden tips and features of the Xiaomi Mi 5. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. The first tip is to enable the permission manager and well the combo of Marshmallow and MIUI were making a mess out of my apps for the first few hours that I started using the Mi 5. WhatsApp was not able to read contacts, True callers was not showing uh, the call history and was not even able to make calls. What's more annoying was that the apps were not prompting me to grant the permissions as you would normally get on a Marshmallow Android device. Even the option to manually grant the permissions from the app settings page was grayed out. The problem was caused due to the built-in permission managers of the MIUI which comes disabled by default for some security reasons. To enable the permissions, open up the security app on your Mi 5 and navigate to permissions. Here you'll see a small settings icon on the top right hand corner. Now, just uh, enable the option of permission manager and then you would be able to grant access to the various permissions for the app you have installed on your Mi 5 and all of them will work like charm. Tip number two would be to enable the built-in fingerprint app lock. Now, the Xiaomi Mi 5 runs on Android Marshmallow and therefore most of the third-party Android fingerprint app lock works on the device. Now, we have already covered an app in the past and uh, it works pretty much fine but if you kill the app, the app, I mean, it stops working. So this was kind of a loophole. So you can only fix this if there was a built-in feature on the Mi 5. And as a matter of fact, it's well hidden under the privacy settings. So you'll find the option under settings, additional settings, privacy and privacy protection. You'll find the option that says lock individual apps. Now, after you have enabled the option, you would be asked to set up a fingerprint app lock if you haven't already or you'll just be asked to authenticate yourself and then you can lock the apps from the list the tip number three would be to use the home button as a capacitive touch button now just like samsung galaxy s7 the mi 5 also comes with the back and the recent apps capacitive touch buttons along with the home button with the fingerprint sensor which needs to be pressed to use it but like me, if you don't like the idea of pressing the home button, you can convert it to a capacitive touch button. Now under settings, advanced settings button, you'll find the options that says tap home button to go back to the home screen. Just enable it to change the behavior of your home button. And for a moment, it might feel like it's, it's kind of out of order because it's slightly raised when compared to capacitive uh, touch buttons. But don't worry, it will just take a matter of time when you get used to it and it will be perfectly fine. Now enabling reading mode is at number 4 and now that it's proven that reading in orange light is healthier for eyes when compared to the blue light and there are quite a few apps that are already available to get the feature on almost any Android device. But for Mi 5 users, we just need to head over to display settings and enable the option of reading mode. You will turn on the orange filter which is a great feature for all the reading buffs out there. You also get the option to customize the reading list app for some various specific apps which makes it even better to work with the reading mode of the Mi 5. Finally, the tip number 5 would be to use a third party IR remote app. Now, Xiaomi Mi 5 has a pretty decent remote app for when I mean, compared to other devices. But still, if you live outside China, there will be a few instances where you will not find the devices that you wish to configure and those will be missing from the list. So to use the IR Blaster to a full potential, I would suggest you to install an app called Peel Remote that will give you a wide variety of models to choose from which includes TV, setup box, soundbar, air conditioners and even to get the option of configuring a personal remote. The app also gives you a guide on what's going on channels and then you can just tap on the program to fire up the channel. So friends, those were some of the hidden tips and features of the Xiaomi Mi 5 that you must check out. And if you think we have missed out any of the important points, please let us know through the comment section and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and until next time, take care and have a wonderful day.